Have you ever thought about what you would do if you could quit your day job and do something new? Brothers Garrett and Ryan Burchett had what they called a crazy idea to start a distillery. And that's just what they did. We got to talking about it and joking, and the more we looked into it, we thought, this could really be something. So we started learning more, doing some training, thinking if the worst thing that ever happened was we learned more about whiskey. Well, that was still pretty cool. And then uh, a couple years pass, all of a sudden the law is changing, a local bank is interested, and we're too far along for our wives to talk us out of it, so here we are. The Mississippi River Distilling Company in Leclerc makes handcrafted spirits from local grain. Their business is built on keeping their products as local as possible so farm, and developing personal the relationships the with their the customers. Right here on the floor. Everything we make here is made with grain, sourced right from the farmers who grow it, all within 25 miles of this place. We go to the farm, we get the grain, we mill it into a flour, we blow it into a tank where it's mixed with hot water and cooked for a couple hours. Then we cool it, add yeast. The yeast goes to town eating the sugar in the mash, make it into alcohol. After about four or five days, we'll throw that mash into the still. We heat it up and we essentially cook the alcohol out of the grain mash. And uh, that is your spirit. And we put that into a jug. Usually it's uh, 150 to 190 proof, depending on what product we're making. We add purified water to it, take it down to bottling proof. It's whiskey, it's going into a barrel down into our basement for a couple years. It's a clear spirit like vodka, that can go right into the bottle and out to market. The history of the area and its relationship to the river inspired the names of their products. The clear spirits are named for the water and the whiskeys for the land. So we have River Pilot Vodka, River Rose Gin, and River Baron Artisan Spirit for clear spirits all the time. And our artisan spirit is kind of like a flavored vodka but the flavor's natural from the corn and wheat that we use. Then we have two whiskeys that we offer all the time, our Cody Road Bourbon and our Cody Road Rye. So those five products you'll find on the shelf all the time. Then we supplement that with eight or nine what we call seasonals every year. On the first Friday night of every month, the distillery stays open late to give customers a chance to socialize and sample new products. Other local businesses have embraced the idea as well. Tonight we're releasing our Iowish cream liqueur. Not Irish, Iowish. And we use the Iowa corn as the alcohol base for that. We get fresh roasted coffee from the Iowa Coffee Company in Reynolds, just south of Des Moines. Uh, we use cinnamon and vanilla, mix it in with that, and uh, it's one of our most popular seasonals of the year. We'll see anywhere from three to 500 people here tonight checking things out. Um, our chef, Stephanie, uh, we call her our spirited chef, uh, Stephanie Godke. She'll be cooking with our spirits. She always has a couple recipes that she demonstrates and has some free samples of that. Uh, this was just a white cake, and then I substitute all of the liquid, not the oil, but you substitute the milk and the water with Iowish. We try to tell our story on every bottle. And if you look on each bottle, there's a hand-numbered batch number. And if you take that number, you can go to our website. You can look up the batch notes for that bottle, and it will tell you the names of the farmers who grew the grain, the day it was mashed, distilled, and bottled, who helped us bottle it, what equipment I blew up that batch, the whole story behind it. But what we're really trying to do is draw attention to the fact that this is real in the bottle, and it's real people who are growing the grain and are making the whiskey and are putting it in a bottle for you and that means something to consumers now more than I think ever before.